so here we will discuss the second category which is deterministic and random signal okay this okay so let us uh, take the example of two signals okay oh, okay here we have one like this and in another side we have another signal <clears throat> so if we extend it a bit like this we have this and on this side we have something like this let's say another signal we have another signal let's say like this uh, or we have a signal like this okay these signals so what is the basic difference between all these signals and this signal here so basic difference is that all of these signals they can be represented with the help of a mathematical equation and they can be their future behavior can be predicted from that there is no uncertainty in the determination of the magnitude and phase of these signals okay yeah. we have sign signal then we have an exponential signal okay to the power 30 we have a rectangular pulse function this one so this is a triangular pulse function also we can represent okay so all of these signals they can be represented with the help of a mathematical equation whereas this signal we cannot predict its future behavior in terms of its magnitude or phase okay we cannot do so we cannot be sure about we cannot we cannot even uh, you know just guess what its uh, future behavior will be it cannot be represented with the help of any mathematical equation it has an irregular pattern and the amplitude and phase at any particular time instant in the future it cannot be predicted in advance so such signals whose behavior cannot be predicted in advance which cannot be represented with the help of a mathematical equation they are called as random signals okay and those signals which is the opposite that is they can be represented with the help of a mathematical equation which have a regular pattern which obey a regular pattern their amplitude and phase behavior at any particular time instant can be predicted in advance which have no uncertainty in terms of its magnitude and phase they are called as deterministic signals
okay so like i said examples of deterministic signals sine cosine those signals exponential then uh, rectangular pulse function triangular pulse pulse function the basic mathematical signals which we have studied previously the basic signals step function ramp function parabolic function they are all deterministic signals because they can be represented with the help of a mathematical equation okay the impulse signal we know that their behavior what their behavior is we can write it in terms of a mathematical equation which makes them easier for their analysis but random signals they cannot be represented by any form of mathematical equation example of it is the thermal noise signal all kinds of distortions that happen in communication systems or in devices they are examples of random signals uh most of the bio signals the uh, biological signals which we encounter in uh, biomedical systems they are also examples of random signals because we cannot predict their behavior they are very low in magnitude and uh, they have irregular behavior okay we cannot predict what we do is to study them we approximate their behavior okay we approximate it so that we can you know represented in some form of uh, mathematical equation with the help of uh, fourier series or transform z transform whatever we technique we use we approximate it but by bio, the bio signals they are very good examples of what random signals are so here if i just give you a non technical exa example let's say we consider uh, it is a non technical example it is not related to the technical field but another interesting example of random signal will be you know the uh, if you are familiar with uh, the stock market or share mar market the value of shares if we uh, study them or plot them on a second to second or minute to minute by minute or hour by hour basis you know they rise and fall in different times like this so they are also a very good example of random signals because their behavior their future behavior that is the future value of a stock or a share at any point in the future it cannot be predicted in advance because they exhibit irregular behavior irregular pattern they there is no certainty related to it so it is also a very good example of random signal it is not related to the technical field but still to make my point uh this is a very good example of random signal okay so all the big firms what they are trying to do is just to figure out some kind of a mathematical model which can give us the closest you know thing to the accurate value of uh, what the future behavior can be you know good prediction so that they can uh, maximize their profits minimize their losses like that so if some kind of mathematical model would have existed then all of us who, you know it would have been very good <laughs> so everybody would have some kind of an idea which uh, stocks to invest in where when to you know withdraw from it so like that so random signals they are irregular in their behavior they have low fixed pattern they are uncertain in terms of their magnitude and phase and their future behavior cannot be predicted but deterministic it is just the opposite of random signal okay so most of the signals that we will deal in uh, communication systems or in our study of signals and systems they will fall in the deterministic category okay because we'll be using uh, you know performing some mathematical analysis on it to study it in a better way okay so this is the uh, second category of study or classification of signals that is deterministic and random signals